Now that we've got an idea how AND and OR valves function, let's take a quick look at some example air pilot and pneumatic systems making use of logic valves. Consider valves A and B as inputs to an OR valve. The output of the OR, M, is one input to an AND valve, the other input being C. What logic function is this system performing, and how does the system work? We'll examine digital systems in greater detail in later lectures, but one way to explore them without this necessary background is sheer brute force by exhausting all possible input scenarios. With three inputs, C, B, and A, each having two states, closed or open, you got eight possible scenarios. I've illustrated all possible combinations in this table. To make matters easier, I've also included an intermediary output of just the OR valve as a pilot signal M, which would be A or B. Using your understanding of AND and OR valves, can you fill out the rest of this table? By all means, pause the lecture and try this on your own. If you're tracking, you should have obtained the following results. As one might expect, the OR valve produces an output M when signal is present at A or B. Intermediary signal M would look like this. The only way the AND gate produces output is when there is signal present at both M and C. Final output should look something like this. Ultimately, this system is performing the function a or B ended with C. Note the parentheses around A or B, meaning the logical OR operator is resolved first, i.e. intermediate output M before it's ended with C. Let's test the system in the simulation to see if we're right. With no signal present at C, B, A, the system yields no output. With no signal present at C, B and signal at A, the system yields no output. With no signal at C, A and signal at B, the system yields no output. With no signal at C and signal at BA, the system yields no output. With no signal at BA and signal at C, the system yields no output. With no signal at B and signal at CA, the system yields output. With no signal at A and signal at C and B, the system yields output. Finally, with signal at CBA, the system yields output. Consider this subtle change in the radically different performance exhibited by the system given the same inputs. You note all I've done is swap the connections to the logic valves. Looks like A is being ORed with the output of the AND valve, which has inputs B and C. Again, using the brute force technique, we've got eight possible scenarios in this table. Note I've included an intermediary output of just the AND valve as pilot signal END. Using an understanding of the AND and OR valves, can you fill out the rest of this table? By all means, Pause the lecture and try this on your own. If you're tracking, you should have obtained the following results. As one might expect, the AND valve produces an output at N only when signal is present at both B and C. Intermediary signal N would look like this. The OR gate produces an output when there is a signal present at either input A or N. Final output would look like this. Ultimately, this system is performing the function A or B and C. Note the parentheses around B and C, meaning the logical AND operator is resolved first, i.e. intermediary output N before it's ORed with A. Let's test this system to see if we're right. With no signal at C, B, A, the system yields no output. With no signal at C, B, and a signal at A, the system yields output. With no signal at C, A, and a signal at B, the system yields no output. With no signal at C, and a signal at B, A, the system yields output. With no signal at BA and a signal at C, the system yields output. With no signal at B and a signal at CA, the system yields output. With no signal at A and a signal at CB, the system yields output. Finally, when signal exists at CBA, the system yields output. When we compare the first and second systems with each other, you note the different configurations of logic valves yield different system outputs given the same inputs. Depending upon application, one may choose one configuration over the other, or an entirely different configuration using different logic valves. All right, that's it for this quick introduction to logic valves. We'll be making use of them in later pneumatic circuits. In conclusion, this lecture examined pneumatic logic valves, specifically the AND or dual pressure valve, and the OR or shuttle valve, and their applications in pneumatic systems. We learned an AND valve produces output only when both A and B air pilot signals are present. Additionally, we learned an AND valve selects the lowest of two pressures. 
Similarly, we learned an OR valve produces output when either A or B air pilot signals are present. Additionally, we learned an OR valve selects the highest of two pressures. Lastly, we performed some brute force logical analysis of a couple different example air pilot and pneumatic systems employing different configurations of logic valves. Remember to review these concepts as often as you need to really drive it home. Imagine how well lab will go if you know what you're doing. Thank you very much for your attention and interest. We'll see you again during the next lecture of our series. Remember to tell you Lazy Lab partner about this resource. Be sure to check out the Big Bad Tech channel for additional resources and updates.